Did you know that the financial services industry needs to innovate by using all of its data? This is Kai Wehner with Confluent. In this video, I talk about how the financial services industry leverages data streaming to process all of its data in real time to add business value. The first scenario we want to talk about improving business value is reducing the cost. How can we reduce the cost in a bank? Well, most banks still run mainframe today. Customers solve this by offloading the data into the streaming platform once. And then they take the data and build application with it from the streaming platform in real time. With this, banks save millions of dollars. For example, the Royal Bank of Canada. It's also about innovation. Innovation means that you can build new applications easily to provide value. New mobile app is one example of that. This brings huge value for the customer experience. However, you cannot do this just with mainframe data and therefore you need new cloud native technologies. One example we talk about here in this video series is 10X Banking, a cloud native core banking platform built on top of data streaming. In addition to that, there are so many use cases data streaming can help with. For example, real-time fraud detection. Because, as you know, you should detect fraud before it happens and not after the fact. This is where data in motion comes into play. For example, to build a real-time fraud detection application based on historical and real-time data. A concrete example here is Capital One. Capital One saves $150 per year per customer by detecting fraud in real time. So we talk about cost reduction and innovation in financial services. And the main point in the end is to increase the revenue. Increasing the revenue is easy if you can build new applications easily without the dependency to old applications like the mainframe. How do you do that? By building a decoupled and decentralized data mesh. One example of how this is done is Raiffeisen Bank International. RBI has built a lot of applications in a decentralized network across different countries so that each business unit can focus on their own problems to innovate and increase the revenue, still getting data out of the historical systems, but using them in their own applications and technology in real time. So in the end, they correlate data from different systems and take action on that context specific in real time. These are a few examples about what you can do with data streaming in the financial services industry. This is really great. And this is just the overview. We will go into much more detail in different videos. So if you like this, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also take a look at the description where we link to much more content about data streaming in the financial services industry with all these case studies I just mentioned. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Kai Wehner with Confluent. Oh,